Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad that you found us here on YouTube and have joined our tribe of survivors. I want to talk today about uh, someone I met that is a narcissist and I was able to detect it almost right away uh, from meeting him. And the only reason I was able to detect that he was a narcissist is because I've been, you know, studying narcissism for almost two years now. And I think he's the first narcissist that I have met, like new narcissist I have met since my ex. So I went to a meetup uh, group and it was the first time me going to this group and we were doing um, card reading for tarot, which is something that I kind of have as a hobby. And I've never been to this group before, but you know, when you first get there, there was about, you know, uh, I think 12 of us and we were all sitting uh, in a restaurant in a long table and we went around the table and everyone introduced themselves and, you know, told them a little bit about themselves to the group. And when it was this guy's turn, he talked probably five times longer than anybody else talking about all his accomplishments, like he's been reading tarot for 20 years now, and he taught Tai Chi for 20 years, and he's and, and all his physical accomplishments as well, even though he was, I'm gonna guess he was, he had to be over 300 pounds, and but he was t bragging and very arrogant about all his, the things that he does, and he's looking all around the table at everyone and you can tell he was just like looking at everyone like they should admire him for all the things he's talking about and then you know we moved on to the group and it ended up being the woman right beside him that was all a professional tarot reader and she she's the one who does it as a career uh, and she talked quite a bit about herself as well but Everyone, everyone there was really nice. But when we started getting into, you know, um, the actual discussions, he was the one who was actually leading the talk, the guy that was talking about himself so much. And I was just like, oh God, I was so turned off by it. And, and it just so happens, and this part is really funny. <laughs> it just so happens that that evening, they were talking about the, the sixes in tarot cards. Uh, I don't know how many of you know about tarot out there. Like there's like four suits. So there's six wands, six swords, six uh, pentacles and six cups. Towards the end of the meeting, we, we, we were talking about six of wands and God, and I, I couldn't help myself but say it. Uh, Cause I knew by the end of the talk that he was a full narcissist. And I'm just like, oh my God, like <laughs> it's the first one I've, I've met or seen and he was he was very um overt people you know at the end of each card that we went through they would ask the group you know does anyone have anything to add and <laughs> and for the sixes of wands in tarot it's like um it's a guy on a horse uh carrying his wand and he's celebrating and he's and he's the only one on the horse and the whole there's people all around him celebrating with him and stuff. And I'm looking at this card going, oh, this is a narcissist card. So I asked if anyone, you know, when he asked that if anyone had anything else to add, I asked, is this a card that you would associate with someone who's a narcissist? And the two, you know, main people in the group answered at the exact same time. The narcissist, the guy said no, but the woman who was a professional reader sitting beside him said yes. And it was so funny that this guy who was a narcissist got caught completely off guard. And I don't, I didn't, I wasn't doing that to, um, I actually was, I really wanted to, to, to know actually because it just hit me. And to see him get crushed like that because the woman beside him had to kind of put him in his place. But the, it's the thing that no, I don't think anyone else in the group had ever realized before that he was a narcissist. And just to see um, all the energy just drain out of him because he was wrong in what he was saying. And um, everyone else at the table was agreeing with the card. And it just, it, the environment changed. And I, like I'm not I'm not going back to this group obviously because when you 
I know now that when you meet a narcissist or recognize a narcissist, there's no, you just have to get away, run. Even if it doesn't have to be a romantic partner, it doesn't have to be anything like that. If you have the ability to get out, you get out. So obviously I'm not going back, but I did make a couple of, you know, friends there that I got their cell numbers for. So we'll, we'll go off on our own. Anyway, I just wanted to like share with you guys a story that I had met another narcissist and I was really able to detect it right away. So like, I'm, I'm glad that I did a lot of the research I did not only to heal from my past relationship, but it's helped me now for the first time to really not let myself get into any kind of situation, even if it's like a social group where there's a narcissist present. Like I was just so turned off by it. I, I will never go back to that group and I don't have to tell everybody and talk about, you know, to the, anyone that was there that the reason I'm not going back is because you're one of your co-group leaders is a narcissist but you know I, I I'm just glad that I was able to detect it because if this happened prior if like five years ago say or ten years ago because um, I had a great time that night I would have went back and continued and this person might have um, you know of course found a way to take uh, fuel from me in some sort of way and it was very and and now that I know what a narcissist was, it was very, very obvious that he was there just to suck up fuel from an entire group of people because he thought he knew so much <laughs> and he doesn't. And I just I I've been kind of giggling all day today about what happened. So I just wanted to share that story. Not really an in-depth story about, you know, um <laughs> about narcissism and how to heal but it was just something that I thought ended up being really funny anyway thank you guys for listening um I'm working on a next talk for you guys that I'm actually taking a long time putting together because I think it's really important so stay tuned for that and uh, let me know in the comments if you guys have run into any other narcissists since your um uh, past relationship ended so thank you uh I'm glad that you found us here on YouTube as we all move forward post-narcissist.